Uh, in its European and Western orientation. Uh, it's just say a few words about, uh, about Mr. Kopak uh, to come to a, a common European understanding. I give the floor to Mr. Irakli Kopakitze. Thank you. Georgia, European Union and NATO, uh, we might expect, but he told me uh, at, the, at the outset, at the beginning, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, he... <laughs> when Mr. Kopakitze is from Tbilisi and he graduated also for the Open Society, Georgia Foundation, not supposed to talk about NATO, but about the European Union. I don't like this phrase, expectation management. Years of the end of the East-West division. In the field of uh, diplomacy and in the field of uh, international uh, affairs, I would like to uh, talk about uh, how Georgia sees its uh, role in the political and security environment of the wider European region and also how it sees its future in the context of the transatlantic security uh, community to understand the current situation in Georgia would also like to talk about the domestic uh, developments in our country. A little bit closer to the micro. This year, last year we celebrated 100 years after the restoration of Georgia's independence and this year we celebrate 100 years after the first democratic elections of the Georgian uh, parliament. So this is a remarkable year uh, for us. And I would like to mention that we see many linkages between the first democratic republic, which existed uh, back in 1918 before 1921, and the Georgia's today's uh, uh, situation. In 1918, Georgia declared the independence from the Russian Empire, and it was a very important period of time for uh, Georgia. It was also a very interesting period of time for the whole world, for Europe especially. It was the same year when also Finland, Poland, Estonia, Lithuania, and Latvia restored their independence. Uh, today, again, we have the similar challenges Georgia had 100 years ago. These uh, challenges are like the Russian aggression or the complicated regional environment surrounding our uh, country. Of course, uh, we had a lot of achievements during the first Georgian Republic, and there's a few important things about the first Georgian Republic I would like to accentuate. First of all, this republic was called the not only called, but also it was, in fact, indeed a democratic republic. It's a very progressive institution it uh, has adopted. It was the uh, first country in the world with a social democratic government, which is something, something also to be uh, noted. And it was one of the first country, countries with five elected women in the parliament in the legislative body. These kind of figures show that Georgia was a very progressive country during the times of the First Republic, and we are very much proud of this heritage we got from the First uh, Republic. Of course, the First Democratic Republic of Georgia tried to secure Georgia's sovereignty and to become one of the European states with prospects 